Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? This is DJ coming at you with another video and today we're gonna do a video on the setup settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and their uh, new release that came out on the 28th of October 2022 but we're just gonna get into it. First thing you get after you uh, approve all your settings for <clears throat> agreeing with the, the things that they want you to agree with with the terms and conditions of use is you get uh, the brightness set up. This is a preference thing. It's based off of, I guess, your the brightness of your screen settings you have set up, and you can kind of back things up or move them up on your needs. So for me, I basically it says for the one the middle one I want it barely visible. So I just drop the settings down to like 47, and then I could barely see in the uh the middle logo for call of duty and so i hit x to continue there and then next setting is the save area which is talking about the borders on your screen so everything's in the area where you see it when you start up the game so for me it's like maximum distance one in the corner I can see everything so I just hit apply you adjust accordingly the increase decrease like left or right up and down same thing they increase and decrease from the horizontal and vertical uh, safe areas continue uh, this next setup is for the audio output me I have everything going through my game and then because I stream I do things through the uh, headphones that are going into my controller and my controllers connected to the game setting so and that's how I do it if you were doing it differently you would change your settings the TV and then I do that you can also do a uh, headphones bass boost if you're doing that I'm thinking I may try to play the game and then use my uh, my love to take headphones because I have some headphones that are kind of I give you that surround sound effect where you do that and then I think it'll help the game and experience it help me hear footsteps and things of that nature so I may try to do that a couple times see how it works out sound bar if you have a sound bar like uh, by your uh, television or or monitor or whatever you're using the game you also have the home theater settings for a surround sound effect and then like cinema like if you're using a projector things of that nature so continue from here and this is just kind of talking about the input that you would change or alter based off of what you're playing on uh, me i'm using controller as my input device some people can use mouse and keyboard because obviously this game is um like cross compatible so you can play on pc as well this is what this is kind of talking about motion reduction for uh, the settings for field of view center dot and all that stuff I mean, I'm not going to change any of this right now but go from there um, now this is talking about my name DJ got a blick on all social media platforms my display name uh, I'm going to do that now and updates required great we're gonna wait on this to finish. <laughs> Update completed successfully. And this is my first time going through all of this stuff. I had let the game update yesterday and then just kind of went through it to, but, but I kind of have an idea of playing Call of Duty, the settings that you know you wanna set up for your best gaming experience because it, it, it does change things when you set it up so okay now we have when you finish that and you come to the main menu you can go to settings for controllers here and obviously for me i'm playing on controller and so it's locked i don't have a keyboard or mouse but that would be an option it's showing you all your controller settings for your PlayStation 5 controller, which is what I'm playing on the console that I'm on. You can flip everything if you wanted to, flip the settings. 
not gonna do that. Uh, stick layout presets, you can change that if you needed to. Uh, controller vibration, some people don't like the controller vibration or the trigger effect. Me, I'm not a fan of trigger effects, so I turn it off. Uh, horizontal stick sensitivity. For me, I'm thinking I may change this to like seven on horizontal and vertical because I wanted to I wanted to see the feel of the game and then I'll probably drop it down some. I don't ever really play on four. I even on uh Warzone I kinda try playing on a normal settings and it always felt unnatural. So because it's like a slower turn and you, know, you especially if you're trying to kill multiple targets and with one clip you have to it's, it's better if you can aim faster and then kinda go from there. And then uh AD with ADS sensitivity multiplier is just talking about customizing stick sensitivity while aiming down sight. And for this, I'm thinking I'll move it up to like 125 for now. Uh, the vertical aim axis, I'm gonna test that yet. Equipment behavior. Now, I think this is the one when you want to hold and yeah hold to ready your cock lethal tactical field equipment you can toggle it to press down again but i think i'm gonna keep it on hold for now then you also have a uh, weapon mount activation like mounting up to walls and things of that nature and it's like ads plus melee like you do it that way okay to tap to reload this is the interact reload behavior now you can tap to reload hold the reload or uh prioritize reload if you do something simultaneous like if you tap two times it reloads or hold like me i'm gonna just put it on tap because that's typically how i work it like the armor plate behavior apply one yeah i usually put it on apply one because if you put it on apply all you can imagine that if you were to do that and then have it going as you're reloading, there's a high probability that somebody's gonna run up on you and then you know, start shooting you as you're putting on plates. So it's better to just do that one at a time as opposed to putting the whole set on. Okay, graphics. Uh, on demand texture streaming. And this is talking about the download high quality textures, your console storage and internet as you play the game, providing more color and detail on these surfaces. If you have it off, streaming is disabled. The game will show local textures only. If you have it on, high quality textures and download as you play the game, you can start set a daily download limit. Uh, I may keep that on. Motion blur, typically I turn it off. I want to be able to see what's around me that it's a cool effect but it's not not exactly something that I like to keep on and a lot of people get motion sickness from having it on too me I just turn it off same thing with the uh, depth of field uh, I like being able to see down the area that I'm looking in so I'll do that film grain I'll probably keep it on but I usually turn that down some too as a matter of fact, let me turn it down to 20. A little better. One thing they should change too is change it so when you're changing it, you can see the left and right comparison to you know, what's being changed in there. And I'll just do trial and error and then change it as I go. Here, I turn my field of view uh, to 120. I want to see everything. No blind spots. So I want the whole frame show me what's happening third person field of view i don't see an example there on the right hand side but we're just going to turn it up uh first person camera placement there helmet camera okay game perspective talking about brightness which we've already covered Brightness is safe area. These are the things that we cover on initial setup. So that's not really required. And we come down to audio, audio mix, headphones. Everything's come is coming through me through headphones. Uh, 
I find out to be the, the best way to do things. Music volume for me, just streaming the way that I do, I don't ever really keep that on that high or at all, really. I really don't need to hear the music. Um, dialogue volume, I keep that on. Effects volume, I keep that kind of there. I don't want it super loud, but I want it to be loud enough for me to be able to hear it. Uh, hit marker volume, I'll turn that down to like 90. Mono audio, I have it off. Subtitles, I keep them on, especially like when I start going through the the gaming mode, just so I can, because a lot of times they'll have accents and you can't understand what they're saying. So I just keep that on, that way I can kind of stay immersed in the story a little bit. Voice chat is on, obviously, we need to communicate with our people. Uh, and the, with the open mic threshold activity, I keep that at 75 and then I keep the volume up because I want to hear them. I would much rather hear my teammates over a lot of the other ambient sounds. So that's where we go from there. Um, Juggernaut music, I guess I'll keep it on for now. I'm not sure how consistently that happens. I played you know, Warzone a little bit and I always would see it pop up. So we'll just go from there. Uh, let's see. Okay, interface. It's talking about the text menu size. I don't have anything to compare it to. I'll just turn it on larger. I'm on the, my screen is kind of fairly the decent size screen. So having a smaller kind of would inhibit you a little bit. So I'll just put it on larger as opposed to largest. Uh, text chat, message duration, and short for now. Uh, custom, what is it? Subtitles, largest, I put that on largest. That was another setting that wasn't like the initial setup. Uh, mini, okay, the mini, mini map size and chart. I typically, I'll go with a square. Some people like the circle, I'll do square. And then you keep mini map rotation on. That's what I'm gonna do. Crosshairs, I'll keep them on. Hit marker visual on damage hit markers. I'll keep that on as well. I'll probably turn off some of these things, but I'm gonna keep them on for now. And the player's name for die. Keep that on. Telemetry on default. Connection meter, which is the display graphs of near real time measurements of ping, packet loss the current connected game server. I'm pretty sure I, I that's off, but I mean, it's just talking about your connection meter and how good it is. So if I get disconnected from the game, I'm gonna get disconnected. So it's, I don't need the meter to tell me that. Uh, but we will do some tests on that at a later time. I, I wanna see what the connection is like and how good it is. And that's part of the reason why I got the game yesterday, but I didn't really play it. I let it do the update and stuff. I heard that there was a lot of issues with the servers dropping and all that stuff. Okay, we have the center dot uh, for the uh, middle of the screen, which I don't really need that. That's just for aiming now. It's going to help, help alleviate motion sickness. I'll keep that off for now. Tool tips. Now I'll keep this on just to see the things that have changed in the game, but eventually I will turn it off, but that's like a thing. So you don't see the, the tips and stuff. Hmm. Another update, I guess you're updating the game as, as I do this, as I do this video, which is, I think is, is a good thing, but, and pretty much we were talking about the crosshairs and all that stuff and I was talking about the connection meter a center dot and they're saying it helps alleviate motion sickness that's cool and the last option is the count and network and this is basically talking about cross play if you play on PC uh, Xbox or, or PlayStation 
uh, the ability to be able to cross play with play people some people don't want to play with people on other systems like the pc and stuff me i don't mind it so i'll keep that on cross play communication same thing i keep that on uh, you have a activision account that's there I'm gonna click on that the two-step uh, authentication which they talked about before I'll set that up as well uh, you can block players on this particular section uh, what else you have the network information talking about your private systems connection information IP address and all that stuff as is being shown so we're good there text chat on profanity filter I'll turn it off uh, and then you have what this memory make gore effects on which we'll keep on and that's pretty much it I mean and this is like just the basic rundown of the game uh, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 uh, cross bundle edition uh, just bought it yesterday so we're gonna get into the gameplay later today and then see if it holds up. I played the demo a lot and it was pretty decent. It had like some decent modes on there. So you know, we'll see how it how the gameplay goes. I spent the money on it, so I definitely wanna see if it's if it holds up. That's the test of time and and the last game that I bought for Call of Duty was I thought Black Ops. Black Ops 2. And then after that, I played pretty much Warzone, so I didn't play Vanguard. But these are some modern weapons, so this one should be pretty entertaining. After they get the ground running and then get the updates and get everything running the way that it needs to run. But all right, guys, this is me wrapping this video up. This is DJ coming at you with another video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.